On this episode of Car Fellas, Tommy works his magic on a beautiful young woman. I'm looking at you, I'm thinking hot, okay? <laughs> Hi, hot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trying to get rid of a real clunker. Oh my God, what's that smell in there? There's pizza if you're hungry in here. There's no pizza in this world that smells like that. A young kid shows up on a lot with a cherry 1968 Mustang that brings me back to my glory days. Gotta tell you something, it wasn't easy getting it on in this car either. The back seats are small. <laughs> <laughs> and Mario and Tommy almost come to blows over proper pizza etiquette. I could take any pizza I want. No, you it's can't. Like mine. It's not proper pizza etiquette. I'm Mike Delusion. Everybody calls me Mikey D. I made some mistakes in my life, and I spent a few years behind bars. But when I got out, I decided to make an honest living in the used car business. So I opened Broadway Motors with two old pals. Mario, he's the brains behind the operation. Did you go to college? Yes. You did not. A year and a half. Tommy's the muscle. Five feet tall, five feet wide. Cannolis, Cadillacs, and girls are my biggest passions in life. We're three guys from the neighborhood just trying to make an honest buck. Way to call, fellas. Oh, you hear that motorcycle? I know a guy that tried to do a wheelie and fell on his face. Oh, with his brand new bike. Yeah. What the hell are you guys doing? Cooking. Cooking. sausage. Quarter after nine, bro. I know. We, we were hungry, so we wanted some sausage. Are you kidding me? No. Well, you want some? You know, when I was away, they had food in the mess hall where all the regular people ate. Yeah, it was you... terrible. In 2003, I was incarcerated at Fort Dix Federal Prison. Prison sucks, but we make the best of it more than that. We used to do what we had to do to get food. And you know how we used to make the pasta? You know, I had the net bags for the laundry. Yeah. Then you got a stinger. A stinger is an electronic device we used to make out of whatever we found. You'd plug it in and put the wires together and throw it in the water. It would make a conduct and boil the water. Gotcha. Once the water boiled, we'd take the net bag with the pasta in it and drop it in. They were like yeah. MacGyver over there. And everybody came to the picnic tables outside because we were allowed outside. So it was like a night. block party. Yeah, like a C-block party. And everybody... <laughs> so C-block block block party. party. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad I never had to deal with that stuff. Me too, because I don't know if you could handle it. I probably wouldn't. You know what would have happened? If he would have been in a car bomb explosion, they would have found all this body in one head, and it would have been where the rest of the guys went. <laughs> could oh, you imagine? Man. Even the FBI would have been able to figure that one out. We got a body in the eight guys here, and there's one this. head in the car. <laughs> <laughs> And on that note, I didn't particularly like the sausage. I'm going to get pizza. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Did you see that? That is a nice car. Check that out. Hey, what's up, man? I'm Mike. How you doing, Anthony? What's up, Anthony? How are you? Mario. Nice Anthony. car, Anthony. I'm here at Broad Motors today to sell my 1968 Mustang. The car is pretty special to me because uh, I restored it. I probably put about like a couple hundred hours into the car working on it. This was my first car I ever had. Nice. Yeah, it's 68, real nice. right? Yep, 68. One of our goals is to open a shop where we only sell classic cars. Right now, we're selling the meatloaf. But one day, we'll only be dealing with the filet mignon. Are you looking wow. to sell this car? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. I just, I, I got no place to keep it. Got the floating horse. It's the first year for that. It's, it's a nice example of a driver quality 68 Mustang. In 1968, the Mustang made some safety changes. They put in a collapsible steering wheel so it didn't go through your chest if you got in a car accident. How's the floorboards on this car? Floorboards were totally replaced. Were they really? These cars are noted for rusting out. Yeah, right down there? Yeah, pretty good. In mint condition, this 68 Mustang could be worth anywhere from 15 to 20 grand. What engine's in here? It's got a 302. It's got a 302? 302? 302. First year for the 302. This guy's telling me that this 68 Mustang originally had a 302 engine. You got the VIN stamp here. But the car's VIN number says it originally had a 289 motor, which makes it a lot less valuable. This 302 engine must have been added later, and that's going to affect the price. You got the keys? So, Mario, I should drive this car. Why should you drive it? I had this car when I was 16 years old. Plus, besides that, I don't think you're fitting in the car. That was like 30, 40 years ago. What are you yeah, talking about? I drove the car for years. I know what it's like. 
I like to take the test drives on the cars because I know more about the engines than Mike and Tommy. If you want to take a first spin, you take a first spin. But just for the record, I do fit in the car. Very smooth. Yeah. Gas pedal's nice and tight. I mean, yep. you know, you know, this is the American classic this right now. This is an icon right now. This it really is. These classic cars, they're not built with all the modern conveniences. They got no power steering, no power brakes, and no air conditioning. Windows open, that was your air conditioning. Yeah. It's really not that comfortable. And it limits the buyers I have for the car. So it's definitely going to affect the price that I want to pay. You know, they made over 200,000 of these cars. That's how many of these they produced. Wow. Brand new in 68. I don't know how many of them were coupons, but yeah, that's a I, lot of cars. There's a lot, yeah, a lot of cars. So I guess that's why there's still some of them around. Yeah. That's good. You know, you got a lot of parts for them, too. Yeah, so. all parts are available. I mean, it's not hard to get. They're not as desirable as some of the other, like the Chevy Camaros no. or the, you know, the Cudas and, and, and the, uh, yeah. the other Mopar cars, but I love them. Yeah. It was my first car. I got to love it, you know? Yeah. It, it really brings me back. Yeah, this is my, you know, this is my first uh, older car, you know, something project to do, so. Wipers work and lights and all that Everything works. Blinkers, reverse, all the gauges light up nice. You don't mind when we go on this quarter, I'm gonna get on it a little bit, You can you? get on it all a right. little bit. The looks of this car are beautiful, but this is a muscle car and it needs to run like one. This car's in fair condition, all things considered, and I'm hoping to get it for six grand. What are you asking for the car? I'm looking, I'm looking to get 8,500. Uh, let me ask you this question. I was a little suspect about the motor being a 302 car yeah. and not a 289 car, because 302 is much rare. Oh, yeah. The problem with this Mustang is that I don't think it has the original motor that came with the car. This knocks the car down about two grand. There was a thing back in the days with when Ford first came out with it, they had a couple of motors that uh, stamped with the C code. They were 302 cars. Right. It just has the different heads on it. It is the original motor. It and is Andy, an original you know something? Too. You seem like an honest guy. I believe you. My problem is when I go to resell this car, for me to give that story exactly. to my customer, they don't want to hear yeah. it. The bottom line is there's no way of me documenting that this car is a 302 car. Yeah, I hear you. All out. right, so I hear you out on that. That hurts as far as the value. The secret to negotiation is to always start low. You know the other guy's gonna come down. The car is a very nice car. I'd look to pay somewhere around five grand for it. I was like, 5,000? I mean, are you kidding me? I can't, I can't do that. The five, five hurts a little bit. The kid is asking 8,500. I'm hoping to get it for six. It come down 75? I mean, still, I mean yeah, people no, are still gonna listen, want these cars. It's a nice car. I can come up to six. I can come to $6,000. That's still too low. There was no way that I could do it for six. Bottom line, seven. Andy, you know what? We're not far apart. Do me at $6,500, I'll make the deal happen. I'll make the deal happen at $6,500. I can't go no higher than that. I'm done there. I want to make the deal. At sixty-five, dollars I can make it happen for you. I'm going to have to say no. I'm going to have to say no. I'm going to have to stay at seven. Seven is my lowest. The kid is tough. I can't believe he's gonna walk on 6,500. I thought this would be an easier sale. If you could work with me at seven, car's all yours. You know something? All right, you got a deal. 7,000, I'll take the car. Let's go inside and take care of business. All right, thanks. This kid gave me a real run for my money. I bought the Mustang for 7,000. I know I could sell it for about 8,500. That's $1,500 in profit. And I had a lot of fun buying it. All right, I got a question for you. Hope it's important. Last night, we ordered a pizza pie. There was eight slices. OK. Amongst us two. So just so you get the visual, I'm sitting here. Give your I'm honest opinion. here. You're right in front of your four slices. Right, OK. OK. So I ate this corner. He ate that side. one first. He ate this corner. I, I ate, ate this corner. one. Right. He ate that one. Yes. Right. I ate this one. Yes. Right. He skipped that one. I don't, maybe I didn't want that. Maybe I wanted he the corner. He skipped that yeah, one. I went to the corner. Stood up and 
took mine. I, oh, I didn't stand up nothing because if he you reached reach, across I grabbed the and corner, he took well, my slice. Hook. Was this corner bigger? No, it was smaller. As a matter of fact, that's why I took it. You should have ate the pizza on your right table. I could take it. Pizza no, you it's can't. Mine. That was yours in front of you. You're wrong. You chose you that took side. My half. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I, I ate started, my side. This I ate my side. You didn't. This four. You, you me. I had you, this side. Me. You took. So now. I I stay on your side. I you're pissed. Stay on your side. You're it's I not don't... proper pizza etiquette. What do you know about? You're it's a, wrong, it's Mario. A pizza. You're wrong. It's a pizza. You're wrong. Oh, come on. I understand you're both upset over the great pizza caper here. No, I'm but not let's upset. let's relax. And somebody's here now. He was wrong. There's a piece of growing up on a lot. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm helping this girl. <laughs> nice. Why? Because it's a girl? Yeah, no, her hair's nice and curly. Oh, it's got Fuzili hair. <laughs> He's a lunatic. This guy runs out. He never gets off the friggin' chair. I'm Tommy. Vicky, nice How to How are you? you? I'd like to sell you my car. I came to Broadway Motors because I want to sell my 93 Honda Civic. I had the car for a couple weeks before it was stolen. I couldn't imagine a girl looking like you getting out of a wreck like this. <laughs> Appreciate that. Cannolis? Cadillacs and girls are my biggest passions in life. Every single panel of this car is beautiful. The only thing beautiful here is you. That car was a wreck. It must have fell off a cliff. Needs a little love or someone who doesn't care about what it looks like. This car needs a lot of love and... Love it. <laughs> love did it. you give this car any love? I did, I gave it a little bit of love. Oh, my God. What's that smell in there? Um, garbage. I mean, in the 90s, these cars were the most popular car in America. It's still popular. They it's were the most, most stolen, stolen car it is, in America. It is the most stolen car. Nobody stolen. would steal this it car. It was stolen. No from way. my house. Unbelievable. Look at this. This girl is actually confusing him right now, and he's going to consider buying this wreck. He's in love right now. What are you looking to get for this? 2200 $2,200 for that car? She's out of her mind. A 93 Honda Civic Mint is only about $1,700 on the car lot. Ha, ah, let me tell you something. I'm aiming high. It made you hot. I'm, I'm aiming high. Oh, you're aiming high. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at you, I'm thinking hot. Okay, <laughs> high, hot. <laughs> okay, let me go see what those guys think and uh, I'll be right out. Let me tell you something. She's hot, the car's not. But I want to do something for the girl. Oh, if she what wasn't is... hot, well, that's... you would have threw her off the lot already. Right, but that's why I want to do something for her. Maybe we throw a couple of hundred, I take her out to dinner and everybody's happy. <laughs> He's the one to take this guy. So we got to pay for the... We got to pay for you. So in essence, we're paying for your date. Yeah. I think she likes me. <laughs> <laughs> I think she likes me. What okay. gave you that idea? She was talking to me. I don't know. I got time to waste because no, you want to no, hook up. No, 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 This is Tommy's dating service. If you don't mind. I'm going to go take a look at the car. Do me a favor, though. Yes. Watch. Just watch how you look at her. Oh. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Vicky, this hey, is Mike. You? Mike, Hi, this Mike. is Vicky. Very nice to meet you. Every car that comes on a lot is a potential deal. From here, this car looks like a wreck. But I got to see if there's anything I could do with it. Oh, my God. <laughs> you... This car stinks. The problem here is, Tommy thinks he's got a shot with her. He wants me to buy the car. Normally, I would never have this car on my lot. I'm Don't trying to do you a favor, and I'm, you know I'm trying to do you a favor. What we need to do, you need to take the car to the car wash, see how much it costs to get it in any kind of sellable condition. All right. And then you got to take it to the mechanic All right. and let them see what it costs. This car is not worth anything as is. But if I could buy it, fix it up for under a grand, then I could make a couple hundred off it and help Tommy out. If I'm going in this car, I gotta get air freshness because it smells like there's a body or two in there. There's pizza if you're hungry in here. There's no pizza in this world that smells like that. Coming up, Tommy takes the Civic and his love interest to the car wash to see if there's any chance to get the girl or save the car. Oh my God, what a smell. At this point, I need a miracle. And pizza war escalates between Tommy and Mario. This is none of your Business! 
I have a dilemma. Yeah, what's that? My dilemma is this car. Earlier today, Vicky came in with a complete piece of We're at the car wash right now. Then I gotta go to the mechanic. I wanna go on a date with this girl, and I gotta make it work for Mike. Is there anything that you could do to get this car back to life? Can I have the honor? Absolutely. Oh my God, what a smell. Every used car lot needs a kick-ass detail and car wash guy. That's Maury. If we could spend a couple of hundred bucks with him, we generally can get back twice as much as we spent on the car. I gotta tell you, it's one it's... of the worst, if not the worst car I've ever seen. You're kidding me. Well, the whole inside's gonna have to be completely emptied out. We even have to take the seats out on this car, which we normally don't do. These are food stains that just not gonna come out with just a regular shampoo. Okay. So we're gonna have to take up the carpet, and we're gonna have to replace the foam. That's where all the bacteria lies. Okay. And after years and years... Do you have to take the seats out for that? We'll have to take them out, yes. Okay, okay. Yes. So it's gonna add to the price of the job, but the smell will be gone. It'll make the difference. And it's the only way you're gonna be able to get rid of the smell. The, uh, the trunk, we're gonna have to replace the carpet. We can't save this and clean up the rest. As far as the outside of the car, it's gonna need more than a compound to bring it back to life. Certain areas are gonna have to be wet sanded. Okay. Compounded. And once we clean it all up, it should be fairly reasonable looking car. So what's the total? That'll be a total of $400. Uh, it's a number that I gotta just hold in my head for now because I gotta go to the mechanic. 400, that's really steep. Hopefully the mechanic will have better news. But if it's gonna cost too much to fix this piece of <laughs> Mike ain't buying it and I ain't getting a date. I feel like a big sausage. You like sausage? <laughs> I have a 93 Honda here, and I'm looking to purchase it, maybe. And I'd like you to give it a, you know, a once around. Okay. Well, I heard you come up already, so. So, you already got something in mind? Exhaust already. I've been a mechanic for about uh, 40 years, some odd years or so, and uh, as soon as I heard that car come up, I knew it was uh, pretty much in bad shape. Got some pre bondo work. Somebody did it, uh, slide to do it in the backyard already. You could see that every panel had a dent or a ding on it. We have upper noise in the motor. The exhaust. Yeah. By listening to the motor, I could tell that it needed a lot of work to it. Money-wise, what am I looking at? Twenty-five hundred dollars with, with the body. I got seven, eight, nine hundred dollars just to straighten out the exhaust, timing belt, upper end. Say uh, two and not, about twenty-seven to three thousand. Three grand. Yeah. Joe just hit me with three thousand dollars for this car. At this point, I need a miracle to get this to go. But I have an idea that might solve all these problems. Hang out, let me talk to him and... So it's gonna cost $400 to clean this car up. 3,000 for mechanical. I got one last solution so I can get a date with this girl. So what happened? Here's the deal. The car's a piece of <laughs> We knew that before you left. Is there anything good about this car? Har? Oh, what are we doing here? What kind of numbers are we talking about? I'm talking about this guy wants almost $3,000. The math just doesn't add up. I want to be a good wingman, but this is a business. You are constantly putting me in these predicaments. I want to take this girl out to dinner tonight, offer her something, you know, make her a little happy, and we got points. Making her happy or you happy by no, doing this? Well, I mean, for Mike, it's all about the profit. For me, it's all about the digits, and getting a date with this girl. Buy this car for scrap, for parts. I could probably get 600 for the parts. So if I can buy the car for four or 500 and Tommy gets to take her home, then everybody wins. I'm gonna do you a favor, I'm gonna try and work with her. Okay. She's at 2200, Mo. I mean, you know, when I even Realistically, same... she okay. heard everything. She okay. knows. All right, let me see what I can do. And remember. Yeah, I know, I'm doing it for you. Vicky. Can I see you for a second? You heard the good news? Yeah, I heard the news. That it's they, yours. We got to make this into a bionic car in order to get it anywhere. All right, listen, here's the deal. He's telling me there's a ton of money that would have to go into this car to make it sellable. Right. It's probably worth about 200 in scrap metal. If no, I take it because to the if I junk it, I could get 350 I don't know about She's that. She's got you there. You yeah, it's true. The <laughs> She's last got you there. Junked. You know, it, I mean, if I went to, to three hundred dollars, I could probably, you know, I'm trying to work with you a little bit. I'll take twelve. Twelve is not gonna happen. I'm gonna give you five hundred out of the goodness of my heart. That's okay. all I can do. Is that fair? All right. 
You got it? Yeah. Deal. All right. So I bought the Honda for 500. I could sell for 600 for parts, which means they're gonna make 100 dollars, and Tommy still gets to drive the girl home. Thank you. It was a pleasure dealing with you. And thank you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. Enjoy it. I will. I'm sure. Thank you. Take care. Be careful over there. It's an honor to get in this car. You hungry? You Italian? 100 percent. Let's go get something to eat. I didn't go with Vicky. She bailed. She had to go home and feed her dogs. So my only alternative was to go with this bacha galoop. And guess what he did? He reached over and stuck his thumb in the pizza right away so I couldn't eat it. I didn't stick my thumb in the pizza. He stuck his thumb. I reached thumb. over and I grabbed th this piece that I wanted. Again. Your eating habits are maybe a little bit over the top. Who? You. Oh, so now I'm wrong. No, you be. It, it, How did he start from being wrong? Well, you describe, I thought you was. This is none of your <laughs> business. <laughs> How did I end up wrong? I think that I think that. I think that you're overreacting. Eat pizza with me and let me take from your side and see how you like it. <laughs> I swear to God, you heard Mario, the I'm starting to have an asthma attack. You want a smell and salt? I got a simple solution. You guys should not be eating that much pizza. I only ate three slices. You should order the grapefruit. <sighs> what are we doing for dinner? <laughs>